the Lord God caused Adam to fall into a deep sleep. He took one of Adam's ribs and closed up the place from which he had taken it. Then the Lord God made a woman from the rib and brought her to Adam. At last, Adam exclaimed, she is part of my own flesh and bone. She will be called woman because she was taken out of a man. This explains why a man leaves his father and mother and is joined to his wife, and the two are united into one. Dear friends and family, we are here assembled on this beautiful day to assemble in marriage Adam Barger and Mackenzie Froman in marriage. The Bible teaches that marriage is to be a permanent relationship of one man and one woman totally and freely committed to each other as companions for life. Our Lord declared that a man should leave his father and mother and unite with his wife in the building of a home, and the two shall become one flesh. The home is built on love. And God gave us a great description of what love really looks like in the 13th chapter of Corinthians, where God said, love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful, it is not arrogant or rude. Love does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrong, but rejoices in the right. Most of all, love bears all things. So faith, hope, and love abide, these three, but the greatest of these is love. Marriage is about partnership and companionship. It involves a mutual commitment and shared responsibility. You will share in life for the rest of your lives together. You will share in all the ups and downs, the joys and the sorrows. The amazing mystery of marriage as God created it though is that when you deal with a sorrow, the sorrow is halved, but when you share in a joy, the joy is doubled. You're encouraged to create your, or to dedicate your home to your creator, the Lord your God, Take his word, the Bible is your guide, and you'll discover the source of true happiness and joy for the remainder of your lives together. Father God, you have created these two long before this day or before they ever thought about this day. You knew that this day was gonna take place for you made them for one another. And God, by your divine will and providence, you brought them together. And today they stand to become one before you and all these witnesses. God, may you place your hand of blessing upon them. May you meld them together, as your word says, into one home, one being, moving forward as a married couple. And we'll praise you for it all the days of their lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Adam, will you have this woman to be your wife, and will you make your pledge to her in all love and honor, in all duty and service, in all faith and tenderness, to live with her and cherish her according to the ordinance of God in the holy bond of marriage? If you will, say, I will. I will. Mackenzie, will you have this man to be your husband, and will you make your pledge to him in all love and honor, in all duty and service, in all faith and tenderness to live with him and cherish him according to the ordinance of God in the holy bond of marriage. If you will, say, I will. I will. Okay. Truth is, sometimes it gets messy. But you got to do one thing in order for marriage to really be successful. You got to go all in. By the authority of God and the laws of the state of Maryland, I declare that they are now husband and wife. Sir, you may kiss your wife.
It was June 23rd, 1999, and Angela was nine months pregnant, and she was ready to go. The uh, doctor had said, we need to get up, get moving. We need to get the show on the road, so we went for a boat ride that night. <laughs> <laughs> Came home, and four, four or five hours later, we were on our way to the hospital. And June 24th, Mackenzie was born. And then, the next thing we know, we're signing her up for beach lacrosse. <laughs> Next thing after that, she's back in the old green diesel into Redneck Row at Decatur. <laughs> <laughs> May the green diesel rest in peace. Yeah, <laughs> RIP. Uh, then after that, she went off to college and did a great job. Everything went great there. Then she started coming home every weekend to come see this guy named Adam. <laughs> and then Angela, Mackenzie, and my mom were off on a whale watching trip. And Adam shows up at the house. And I look out there and I say, What are you doing? And he said, I'm going down to the boat to check on something. Then he comes running back up and he says, oh, Mr. Eric, I really aren't it. I'm really not here to uh, check on the boat. <laughs> I got a question to ask you. And I said, oh. <laughs> but I didn't have to think about it. Of course, Angela and I have seen them together for the last three and a half years. And, uh, <clears throat> He's a, he's a good guy. <clears throat> Comes from a good family, all of them. Mark, Karen, three brothers. Four. Three brothers. Three brothers and a sister. And they're all good people. And we're excited to all become one big family. Thank <laughs> you.